Ugh, what is this feeling? It must have been caused by you drinking 10 cups of coffee instead of 15 last night. You don't say. How do I cure it? Don't ask me, I know as much as you do. Maybe ask your cousin? She reads a lot. Hmm... Wait, what are you doing here? I are. What are you doing here? Well, you are a coffee addict, so I came here to make some coffee. Uh, funny you mentioned that. I seem to be cursed for drinking two thirds of the amount I usually drink. Have you seen a cure in your journey of reading a massive pile of Chinese novels? Well, no, but a cup of French press can. How can a cup of French press fix a curse? Look. I don't make the rules. Send your complaints to the suggestion box of a god of coffee. Why is my French press device gone? Oh, that! Alex took it five minutes ago. He should be in your yard now. Why does everybody just come in here and take what they want? What a curse man supposed to do these days? Uh, okay. See ya. Hey, Yar! Nice day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Listen, give me back my French press device. I needed to lift my curse. Uh, did you play too many horror games? You know I don't like horror. Just give me the thing. No way, man. You didn't give me a birthday present. Wait, what? Are you really holding my French press hostage? Fine. I make you a cup too. Just give me the thing. Deal! Okay, so let's put this here. Now what? Let's see... We need to throw in the coffee we stored in the cabinet behind us. Hmm... This doesn't seem drinkable. Now throw a bit of water on it. This is why I'm not a fan of French press. The process is long. Well, you have to wait a minute, so we wait. Now add water to fill it halfway in a way that water is rotating in it. What is this? Chemistry class? Now mix it with a spoon and fill it all the way to the top line made out of copper. This better fix the curse. Are we done? Yes! Just wait 4 minutes and you can start drinking. Thank god. Finally! Time to get back to my life. 